Listening to Radio August, Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock, and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief Dupont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. You know why you're here, don't you? The dead girl. And this. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? It's a rhetorical question. You're going to a town called August. Find Chief DuPont. He's going to think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? Splendid. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, you'll be deprecated. Deprecated. We expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. In brighter news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Barley. The eight-month-old Basset Hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. The carpet's priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? That's fine. It's yours for as long as you want it. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. It's deathly quiet. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. Just finishing. You don't believe? That's okay. Sometimes life is just a stream of coincidences. Hi, I'm Bronwyn.
Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. So, what's your question, Sam? <sighs> the Fool. I'm going to see a lot more of you, aren't I, Sam? Well, enjoy the journey. But remember, not everything is winnable. I'm in room one and that's down the hall. Lorraine's in two, Lexi's in three. And which room are you in, Sam? Good. We're neighbours. Just knock if you need me. The three other scientists standing behind the table with monitoring equipment each gave them a nod. If knowledge. you're hearing this, prepare to make history. You're going to have a field day with this. I'll be sure to get some pictures for you. Dimitri, fully aware that he was suspended above unknown heights, careful. Good, you got my message. Chief Inspector Dupont. I wasn't sure you'd come, but I suppose you're between jobs? Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam, that's your cover now. So, the job. Director Shaw, 21, the compass cellist, redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. It all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs. To be honest, and I thought she'd probably been smoking something. And that's why I didn't take it seriously. Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? Okay. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you a license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. You don't have any real authority, understand? But you help me out, I'll help you. Spell it out. I'll make your problem go away, or at least sink it to the bottom of a pile of paperwork. Your old town? The problem? Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. What do you want to know? She was a cellist. Selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. Don't read the paper, do you? Yesterday, Monday the 9th at approximately 9pm, according to the coroner, we got a call from the mother just after 10pm. Do, do I have an alibi for last night? Do I? Okay, I was here, and there are video monitors that will prove it. Thanks for ruling me out, genius. In her bedroom, she was naked, strangled. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. It's the one thing only the killer would know. Ah, uh, born here, runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What she told you? She told you she's taking pills, didn't she? Let me handle Violet. She didn't kill anyone.
foot onto the concrete slope. My legs fail and I slide my back against the steel. Jimmy's empty gun falls to the floor. All that's left is my sobbing. Oh, this curiosity shock. I assume you've been to see Chief Dupont already? Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Yes, a lamb. Young. Innocent. Lambs get slaughtered, though, don't they? Nice, yes, that's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Sorry. I'm gossiping. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. There, tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Because they may have killed someone. It's not great for my reputation, is it? Stay at Violet's, the home of killers and hobos. I'm sorry, it's a derogatory word, isn't it? But strange people seem to gravitate towards this guest house, Sam. I think I'll get the sign changed. It's the strangest thing. I honestly don't remember. But I imagine I was here or getting groceries somewhere. I've driven by it, never actually been in it. I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. I don't know, Dr. Sam, you tell me. Embrace them and keep moving forward and keep striving for the best. Thank you for your dreams. You're listening to Radio August. Sam, is it? I'm sensing you're not here for a reading. Chief Dupont thinks I did it. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. All I'm asking is that you dig a little deeper than the Chief. I had nothing to do with Dorota's death. We saw danger in the cards and we tried to stop it. Trust me, Sam, we're on the same team. We saw it in the cards, not images, feelings, impressions. Tarot can be very powerful. Not these cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. In my room, reading, I found a trashy romance novel under the bed. I'm assuming it's Violet's. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. She came to my room to chat for a little while. That was around nine, I think. You can ask her. I said the book was trashy. Look at this place. If her guest house is anything to go by, Violet's the opposite of trashy. 
going to happen and you need to get the fuck out of Dodge, unfastening my seatbelt and making myself open. You must be a new guest, or you're burglaring us. <laughs> I'm Rain, by the way. Pleased to meet you, Sam. Enjoy your stay. Uh, the hot water goes off at nine, by the way. So it's cold showers from there on in. It really bugs me. I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. She was young, had red hair, a talented musician. No, not at all. You're completely barking up the wrong tree there. <laughs> Spoken like the true killer, posing as a detective, trying to frame someone else for the murder. We did a reading, a group reading, actually with a special tarot deck. You get it piecemeal, not everything in one reading. The last one we did showed a young woman being murdered. Young, talented, probably red-headed. I was in my room. Praying, actually. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. It didn't work. I don't believe in anything, but I also believe anything is possible, so uh, it's a conundrum. <laughs> I was, I was driving on, on, I stopped and blinked a few times as I sat up in my bed. Oh, hi. hi. Sam, is it? Come on in. Make yourself at home. Mi casa es su casa. <laughs> Come on. I don't know anyone in this town, except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously, and Violet, and the Chief, and now you. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Good old fashioned fortune telling. Well, kind of. We drew a card each and smushed them all together. Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? Nah, the devil's cool. The tarot one, I mean, not the actual one. I'm not a devil worshipper. The Five of Swords. I think so, anyway. There's nothing more dangerous than someone taking whatever they want, no matter the cost. Yeah, I did. Rain got the Knight of Wands, that's Dorota, and Bronwyn got the Ten of Swords, which is, well, you know, ee -ee -ee. swords in general are bad. She's like my big sister, so pretty well. No. The cards told us to. Well, the cards of rain. Tarot gives us a rough direction and he narrows it down with some astrological jiggery pokery. He's basically a walking esoteric library. And if that sounds dull, let me reassure you, it is. No? Well, yeah. Well, no. We have a job to do. I didn't say job, I said job. Okay, we make a um, cheese obelisk, a chob, and depending on the shape of that chob, we get different answers to questions. <laughs> Thank you.
No, you don't. I was in my room all night with Bronwyn. We were um, painting our nails. No, I mean, yeah, I've already cleaned it off. I thought, but, you know, I just thought it looked nice. It's about five seconds, five seconds. She's gone. Ron, are you okay? I'm not okay. I'm okay. Good. It's not our fault this stuff happens. We're just the messengers. We've seen a lot of... stuff? Are you asking me or telling me? Yes, we've seen a lot of stuff. You seem weird. Just go and regroup or something, then come back and make me feel better about myself. I grimace. Six weeks wasted. Yes. That's sort of something you could say about most dreams that are recurring dreams. Okay. Bron, something doesn't feel right. I don't know what exactly, but it's not right. Thoughts on Tarota? Well, it's hard to say with just one victim. Musical talent, red hair. If there's another, there will be a pattern. Do you think it's another right? A right? As in the same thing we were chasing after in Birmingham? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Just have to try and stop it. Stop it? Birmingham? The Traveller? Dead girls? Ring any bells? Traveller? Bron, you're acting weird. Are you still you? Of course. Well, stop freaking me out. It's not cool in this current climate. Because the impression that I get from this dream and from your explanation of this dream is that perhaps, Gabby, you might always be giving more to other people than you receive. A relationship, perhaps, where you feel that others... Miss Castle, I'm surprised to see you here. I didn't kill Dorota. You're a prime suspect, and your alibi is that you were in the guest house with another prime suspect at the time. It doesn't look good for you. Have you got a problem with me? Everyone has a problem with you, Bronwyn. I can arrest you for something right now. How does perverting the course of justice sound? Kinky. Oh, you are pushing me today, young lady. Um, some wonderful lessons from it. Thank you for your dreams. You're listening to Radio Argus. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. Mother. Find somewhere safe to transition. You're not a superhero. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um, <clears throat> I'm Lexi. Penn tried. She really did. She starved herself. She'd done a- What's up, Lexi? 
I'm sensing something's on your mind. I'm worried about our alibi. Don't worry about that. We don't have anything to hide. You're just fine. Do you think Sam suspects? Maybe, but it'll be difficult to prove. Uh, she was weak. By late afternoon, she'd taken one of Mother's favorite veil anymore. She just had to do as she was told, like the good girl she always was. What with the baby? The pa what is it, Miss Taylor? Why did you hire Sam? No, I didn't hire Sam, the Shaw family did. No, they didn't. Why did you hire Sam? Tarot cards tell you that. <sighs> Listen, Sam gets results. Nobody knows how, but the results are got. I want the killer found as quickly as possible. You've got a problem with that. Who would want to kill Dorota? You doing your own investigation? Great! Let me know when you find out. Bronwyn thinks you've got it in for her. I go after bad guys. If she's a bad guy, then I've got it in for her. Why weren't the police protecting Dorota? What were you doing Monday night? Well, let me see, Detective Taylor. That's the surveillance cameras. I was here till I got the call. Are Dorota's family safe? Why? What are you going to do? Nothing, just checking. I've got my eye on you, Lexi Taylor. Lexi, Rain, are they even your real names? Fists were raised. The truth is, there was enough food for two. And I needed the company. Pull my hood closer, seeking anonymity, meeting no eyes as I walk. It's six o'clock and you're listening to Radio August. Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. Monroe? It's just terrible. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. At the Tulip Festival? Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the weather will be mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I like getting wet. That's six o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Because there will be a next time, and an Who are you? Right, because the local police are so rubbish. It's been a day, a whole day. It's typical of them. Yeah, I went round there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work and we were, you know, hanging out. I left at about five. I'm playing football. It's just five aside. Uh, finished at about half nine. I called her, but she never picked up. Not much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted Dorota to focus on her music. Not long, a couple of months maybe. But we did care for each other. No, no one. She was really popular. What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No, no it couldn't have been. The only place you could have hidden would be in the closet and I suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. 
Yeah, it's big enough for two people to have sex in. On all fours. We shared a few kinks, nothing weird. Yeah, a band from the 60s. I'm not discussing this with you. Nah, I'm close, mainly. I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. Not even as a joke. Legend says that it wards off evil spirits while traversing the ley line. Well, I wish we could give everyone in August one of those. Poe's curiosity shop is now closed. No, no, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? Masks we wear. I could be a satanic cultist behind closed doors, but you'd never know, would you, Sam? She flaunts herself, her body, had boudoir photographs taken. Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother? Ask Zach Weston. He took them. Zach's the local photographer. You should go and talk to him, Sam. You're good at talking. At Weston's photographic, off the high road. It's late, but he's always there. I have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. If you're listening to me now, I believe that perhaps something is weighing heavily on your mind, and perhaps... Yes, he came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay, spiritually speaking. He confided in me quite a bit, actually. He seemed to appreciate having someone to talk to, and he knew I couldn't tell anyone what he said. Oh, Sam. You know I can't do that. Tarot reader client confidentiality. Oh, she gets easily confused. Youth of today. Fine. Jeeve Dupont was breathing down her neck, so we thought it would be simpler if we stuck together. If these walls weren't separating our rooms, then technically it'd be true. To protect Lexi, none of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam. I. I never usually lie. Rain's a big boy, he can handle himself. Besides, I'd be highly suspicious if Rain claimed to be doing anything else other than reading on a mundane night. That's pretty much all he does every night. Poe's curiosity shop is now closed. Sam, what can I do for you?
we didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. It kind of did. It's hard getting an exact name out of 78 cards, but considering we'd never heard of Dorota Shore, it painted a pretty good picture otherwise. No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. Once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. Just... <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Um, most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveller who died here. Yes. Well, not just time travel, time and space travel is also possible. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. We're trying to save people. I said we're trying. We have a gift. We have Mercury, the tarot. It tells us where bad things are going to happen, and we try and stop them. Birmingham. We couldn't save anyone there either. The problem with travellers is... <laughs> well, let's put a pin in this one, Sam. Let me ask Bronwyn. If she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it. Went straight through her skull. Spraying crimson, she spills backward onto the concrete slope. Hi Sam, back for more already. No, I think Bronwyn met him though. This morning, he only wanted to see her. I guess he didn't want anyone else to hear what he had to say. I didn't. How did you find out? Am I in trouble? Ron was worried about me not having an alibi. She was locked in doing phone readings, so she's alright. But there's nothing to prove that I was here. I was though, cross my heart and hope to die. Oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Wanna know how it works? Cool, okay. So Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? But where is the spirit world? I mean, there's planets and stars in space. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. With so far to travel, messages from the spirit world must take ages to get here. Like how light from the sun takes eight minutes or something to reach us. You still with me? Ah, oh, you're sweet. Um, where was I? Oh, so here's my point. The spirit world is actually several hours ahead of us. That's how we get messages about things that haven't happened yet. That's how we got Dorota's name. Because in the spirit world, she was already dead. <sighs> oh, 
I know, mind blowing. Traveller, that's a really old role playing game, isn't it? Oh, did he now? Well then, you know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How does it feel? Cheeky, are you flirting with me? God, ugh. I'm such a bad judge of character. Just ignore me. And it, and an alternative to death was offered with a horrifying loss of fidelity. Any more news on Oscar Wainwright? Yep, that's what he told me too. Not a suspect. Just the tarot readers. No one else is remotely suspicious compared to them. Got any reason for saying that? I'll look into it. Niggas, got any proof? Good work, Sam. I'm impressed. I looked into the eyes of the people I spoke with, and they looked into my- Your ability isn't endless. It will run out at some point.